Hey, welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Mike and today we're talking about stuff. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus talks about treasure. We don't really use that word anymore and we don't consider our stuff to be treasure, but we do have stuff that we do treasure or we cherish. Maybe it's a bank account, maybe it's a car, maybe it's fine jewelry or your house or some collection you have of some amazing uh, album vinyl set or something. It's, it's the things, it's the whatevers of this life. And we all have things we love, things that we want, things that we strive to have in life. Some people have a big pile of things. Some of us, maybe we have a dream of a big pile of things, but maybe our pile's small right now. Either way, it's very easy for us as earth dwellers to let our pile become something more important than it needs to be in our hearts and in our minds. So today we're reading what Jesus has to say about money and possessions. And he's talking about all the treasures of this earth. And we're in Matthew chapter six. We're gonna read verses 19 through 24. And this is Jesus speaking. Here's what he said. Don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is there, the desires of your heart will be also. Your eye is like a lamp that provides light for the body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is unhealthy, your whole body is filled with darkness. And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is. No one can serve two masters for you will hate the one and love the other or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. There are so many things in this passage that we could talk about today. I wanna to look at three parts. Number one is this, Jesus tells us to avoid hoarding. He tells us that our pile of treasures, the things on this earth, that they're eventually, they're gonna turn into a pile of trash. I mean, think about it. Think about how fast your iPhone is outdated. Think about how fast cars fall apart or, or your clothes go out of style or things break down. Jesus cautions us on storing up too many things on this earth. Number two is this, keep a healthy perspective on your possessions and your achievement. Stuff is just stuff. I mean, think about that. It's literally just stuff. We have to be careful that we keep our perspective on our stuff for what it actually is, that it's temporary, that it's of this earth and it fades away, it's just stuff. Jesus warns us if our stuff takes too lofty of a seat in our lives, that we're gonna have darkness in this life rather than having light, that we're gonna have troubles rather than having blessing. Number three is this, you can't serve God and be enslaved to money. It doesn't say money's evil. It says you can't keep God on the throne of your life in first place if you place too much value on your stuff. It's great to be financially accomplished. Don't let that rule your life. Keep God at the highest level of honor and importance of everything that happens in your life. Keep things in the just things category and you will see the difference. These three things do something really important for us in our lives in Matthew chapter six. They allow us to maintain a healthy relationship with wealth and treasure in this world. What do you value most in your life? Maybe you have an abundance of blessings and that's amazing. Maybe you're working towards achieving more and that's awesome, you should do that. Don't let that run your world. Keep God at the center stage as the provider of all things because it all comes from him anyway. Today, use money. Use treasures, but be careful. Don't let them use you. Keep your perspective clear. Make your decisions based on God's best for your life and watch out for the creep. The creep that happens where we esteem the things of this world just a little too much. Thanks for tuning in.